Now you tell me guys, without a memory to a variable, okay, very intelligent question here, without a memory allocated to a variable, guys, can I access that variable in my procedure division? Can I use that variable in my processor division without getting any memory allocated? Yes, Anil, you can use. No, Anil, we can we can't use. There are two options only. Yes or no? I can't hear you, Anusha. Type it. No. The question is very simple, guys. The people who are sleeping, just wake up for one minute and then answer it and then again sleep guys no problem the question is very simple in my program i have defined a variable guys but there is no memory allocated to that variable can i use that variable in my program can i use the variable in my processor division anywhere maybe display maybe calculation no. maybe anywhere no right there is a second question attached to that first question guys if i use that variable without allocating the memory if I use that variable, guys, what happens? Error? No, that's not the answer, guys. What happens exactly? Compilation error? No. A memory allocation will be done in during execution, Prasad. Memory allocations will be done during execution. Compilation. Again, Anusha, the same thing I'm telling you also. Memory allocations will be done during execution, guys, not compilation. So your compiler will be successful, guys, but compilation will be successful. Allocation during execution, something will happen. Come on, guys, this is one of the strong interview question. I am asking you in a different way. Some people will ask you straight question, guys, but I'm asking the same question in a different way. Technical understanding, guys, this is what I say, technical understanding. If you understand the concept, the question can be in any format. So if I ask you a question straight away, what is SOC4 Aben, guys? When you'll get SOC4 Aben? Memory violation. Memory access violation. So what I'm trying to ask you the question, in my program, we have a variable with no memory. And if I use this variable, use this variable, what happens? Nothing but this software again guys like i said now if you understand the concept guys you can tune the question in any way but still you'll give the answer there are two places guys okay two places this thing can happen actually three places not three two there are three places this can happen the first thing is regarding the file guys can i use you tell me guys can i use the file variables before i open the file I love no. you guys. Technical knowledge. This is not theory knowledge, guys. Technical no. knowledge. You can only allocate the file variables will be getting the memory allocation after you open the file. File variables will get memory allocation after you open the file, guys. You want a proof? I do have my system in my hand today. So I've been showing a lot of practicals to other people today, right? We do have file programs in our hand. And I told you this properly, guys. I told you this particular way in a way that you need to learn with me. So you have this file program here. Come on, file program here. And I have the open statement here. After it is opened, then I'm initializing the file variable, my output variable, right? Let's move this fellow before the file opening before the file opening here let's compile the program which is my account program one here account program one submit some people said that anil you will get error in compilation come on how come there is no syntax mistakes right so only if it is a syntax mistake you'll get the error in compilation guys if it is any logic mistakes any kind of memory access issues or any data issues, you'll be facing them in the execution time. So no compilation errors. So you have to clarify your doubt, mind with this part. Let's go and execute, guys. Okay, this is my account JSL one. So I'm trying to give some new file name. Submit here. Why so? Why so? Now you understand. 
you cannot access a variable without his memory allocation guys this is one place technical knowledge second place your sub program topic guys i told you in theoretical also if you go to your sub program topic and i told you that when you are writing your sub program in place in the linkage section you need to map these variables with proper memory sequence if you mismap them exactly if you mismatch them you will append with sub 4 you want to try that one you can try that one also guys this is my sub program here this is my clear sub program here let's not catch this string length variable or else let's not catch the third variable here string length let's put it as it is here the other one we did not catch it anyway we did not even catch the variable guys so you're gonna compile the sub program will you get any errors in compilation guys the people who told me that there will be a compilation errors any compilation error during the process guys nope it gave me warning guys generally we ignore warnings right so i'm ignoring that warning for time being guys so i'm gonna execute my compiler for sub program out of the main program here that unsuccessfully now execute you execute this one here the control will go to the sub program sub program will fail technical knowledge guys your notepad has that already the point if you check your recordings you may see my word verbally that the memory will not be allocated and then you get the software abandoned all by reference right trying to system to refer to the memory allocation and you did not refer it properly so what happens obviously it will fail with soft 4 and the third place what is the third place guys what is the third place come on guys and don't read my things what i'm writing here guys this is for your notes we are occurs guys that's what i'm trying to tell you right that's what I'm trying to tell you that if you don't get the memory allocated for dynamic occurrence, guys, static, you will not get this problem because as soon as the program starts here, the memory will be allocated. Whereas dynamic, guys, you need to increase the counter and then use the memory. And I was asking you, if I don't increase the counter and start trying to access the memory, what happens? What happens, guys, now? Same thing, the soft for abend. As I told you, right? Technical knowledge, guys. If you know how to understand the concepts, you can put that concept in any way. In interview, guys, let me tell you here. Most people, uh, even every day, guys, from last couple of weeks, every day one or the other student or some YouTube follower or someone will call me and say that Anil, can you share some interview questions with me? Now you only tell me, guys, realistically. Do Anil know all the interview questions in, in all the interview rounds? Do Anil know what a TCS interview person is asking? Does Anil know what yes companies his own colleague will ask the questions? No, no. 110 percent, I would say no, but there is a different question to you guys. If I go for an interview, guys, is there any good chance that I get selected? Probably yes. Yes. On a positive side, yes. Why so? Even I don't know all the interview questions realistically. I don't know any interview questions from any particular company. And even my own company, my own colleague, if they ask me also, I don't know what his interview questions are. But still, if I go there, there might be a good chance. Maybe not 100% guys, okay? Realistically, sometimes even I may fail as well. But there are having good chances that I may get selected here and there with some kind of good answers. The reason is to understand the concept and I understand them in proper way, guys. Your notes contains all those things, guys. Your notes contains all those things, but practically you need to put them proper places, guys. If you can see, right, I'm telling you, right, there's a software in my mind. I know there are three places you get a software and this is the three right answers here. But let me tell you, if somebody asks me in interview, this is knowledge, right? Let me put that knowledge in place. In interview, somebody asked me, Anil, 
have you faced any software event? If I say yes, the answer I should choose is the third one. Not the first one. I cannot use this first one as my interview answer, guys. I cannot use the second one as my interview answer as well. Why so? Why so, guys? These are developer mistakes. This is not project mistake. This is not data issue. This is a developer mistake, like a fresher mistake, I would say, or any kind of experience mistake also, guys. It's OK. Maybe he is right. He has an experience in support, but he did not written any program yet. So he started writing the program after four or five years. Then experience mistake or a developer mistake, guys. These things will not go to interview. This will definitely go for interview, guys. And I'll show you a good example in the tomorrow's class. Like I said, right? The dynamic occurs has the only place where you get software in project, guys. Dynamic occurs is the only production scenario where you get the software. There are seven, eight reasons to get software, guys. But in production point of view, in the project level, there is only one scenario that you'll get software, and that is regarding this dynamic occurs, not even static also. Remaining places wherever you get software in other six or seven places, those are all developer mistakes that you'll identify during testing itself. Like you did it now, during testing only you find the mistake, right? So you'll correct the mistake straight away. That will not go to production, guys. These things will be dynamic. So dynamic means at the time of program execution, these things happen. So at that time, this memory allocation concepts will take place and you'll get software. 